Hey guys, welcome to another JSF video tutorial. And uh, we're going to talk about conversion. So to refresh your memory here with the uh, JSF lifecycle, the conversion and validation is taken care of by default in the process validations phase. But this can also be done in the application request values or apply request values, sorry instead of the process validation. So that means that we are like skipping one step or or like combining these two steps in one. And this is really useful in some cases when we want to prioritize some input fields in our forms. And so as you can see, we have also that these four faces are in red and uh, the reason why they are in red is because we can skip them all together depending on the application itself right depending on the ui component tree and depending on what we said on the application so um the restore view here um if you guys remember the it had two different cases either post back and non post back so if we had post back, then we would go through all of these faces. If not, then it would jump all the way to the render response, right? And so, um, yeah, this, that's all you need to know be, from, from the JSF like cycle. So let's take a look at the code and the converters are of two types. They're either gonna be implicit or explicit. The implicit ones are the ones that use the Java server faces by default. And so we don't really have to do any, any type of conversion at all. All you have to do is set the specific data type that you want to use in your managed bean. And those data types can be either the eight primitive data types that we have in Java or they can be also big integer and big decimal. Those are the 10 um, data types that we can use for implicit conversion. And uh, as already said, you don't really need to specify the conversion in the um, using some sort of tag, right? And also we have the explicit conversion. And let me just show you here um, what that would be. So the explicit conversion would be using any of these three tags, convert date time, convert number, and converter. The convert date time and the convert number explicit converters are the ones that already create um, a specific data type in our managed bean. And in this case, it's going to create a number data type. And in the converter uh, convert date time tag, it's going to be creating a data type of type java.util.data, all right? And um, we can obviously tell it to have some sort of pattern, right? So we can say it's year, month, and day. And that's all you would have to do in order to convert this input text into some sort of um, data, or not data, um, date, right? But what happens when the converters that already exist in the Java server faces framework don't work for your application? What, what do we do? Well, then we use the custom converter. And the custom converter, uh, we can just tell it to use a converter ID, which basically just takes the package uh, from where from where we want to use that custom converter. And so we are going to be creating this converter. Um, for this tutorial and it's going to be a location converter so we need to create a uh, an abstract data type of uh, type location so in our in our uh, entities 
location. Where is it? Oh, I forgot. I already created it for you guys. So it's going to have three um, attributes. It's going to be address, city, and country, right? And so in our location, um, that's all we need, the setters and getters. But we also want a two-string method, right? So we want to override the two-string method. But we're go not going to tell the proper or, or the name of the attributes that we want. We just want to give it a specific format here. And that's what we, what we want. The address, comma, city, comma, and country. That's the format that we're going to use um, in the input text, right? For when, when somebody enters a, a data type of type location. And so the other thing that we need is also to create our custom um, our custom converter. So we're going to create a, an object here of type converter. And the first thing we need to do is implement the converter interface. implements converter from the faces uh, package and obviously implement all the abstract methods. So we have two methods that we need to override, but in order to tell Java server faces that this is a custom converter, we need to either use the faces.config to declare the location converter or we need to use annotations so it's extremely simple when we use annotations it's faces converter and all we need to provide is the converter um, ID which is the one that we're using here right so uh, there we go location converter and now that we have this, uh, what we need to do is create some sort of validation. So the easiest one is the one that says get a string. And this one is called in the render response phase. And this is when we want to extract uh, the string value of an object from a managed bean to the user interface, right? And so it's going to be from from this object right and so the first thing we need to do is to cast obviously the value and then just return the location information and so we can either do it by hand but since we overridden the two string method to show us the information in that specific format, then all we have to do is this. And now, in order for us to use the get as object, it's going to be used either in the apply request values or in the process validations, but the one that is going to call it is the converter itself, right? Let's see here. Uh, the first thing we need to do is verify that the value isn't um, null or empty, right? So if value is null or value dot length equals zero, then return null. If not, then what we want to do is um, validate the string itself. So we know that we have a specific format. So what we can do is just um, uh, let's just name it L value dot split and we're going to split it in that comma. So we have an array of um, what needs to be three of length three. So we need to validate that, right? So if a L dot length is, e is equal to three, and so we can copy this and paste it three times here. So we want to 
validate that the information in each part it has content, right? So here we're validating that this is correct, that we have the correct format. And that if that's true, then we need to create an object of type location, right? New location here. And so uh, we need to set the address, which is going to be L at position zero. Once we have that, all we need is to return the location. And that's it, right? Oops. But what happens if the format isn't correct, right? We, we, we don't get a null or empty object, a string, but it doesn't have the correct format, right? So, and what I'm saying is that it has to be address, city, country, right? This is the correct format. And so if not, then we need to send some sort of message to the user to, to let him know, him or her, um, that they're doing, they're entering the um, format that isn't correct. And so we call the faces message, right? And we create a new faces message. And we're just going to say that um, proper, that's what we need to tell the client. And we can also set the severity here. So faces message to error. And now we're going to throw a new converter exception, which is going to take the message to the user. And that's all we need to do here. So there you have it, we, we have our converter and now uh, we need to use it. So um, here in the input text, I know that we have the username here, but instead let's just say that it's location. And we need to create a location in our login bean CDI. So let's go here, private location. And so we need to set the getters and setters here. There you have it. So once we have that, what we can do is call the converter using this tag, specifying the converter ID, which is declared in, um, where is it? In the faces converter annotation here as a value and obviously call the location attribute. And so if we run this, we should be able to get the proper message. So as you can see here at the bottom, we're displaying the error to the, to the user, but we want to actually call that message and uh, show it in the f in like in a, in a better format right so if we type anything here so we we get the message and it says proper location format is address city and country right so that's what we would need to enter and um, in our where does this take us it takes us to the welcome page so in our welcome page what we can do is have a, an output label that calls the login bean CDI the location, right? And so once we have this, then we can say, for example, my address is KJ blah, blah, blah. City is Bogota. Country is Colombia. That's where I'm from. And so once we have the proper format, as you can see, we go to the welcome page where it basically is the age classification, the, the navigation handling that we were doing. And um, as you can see, we have our address location here. So that is how you create your own custom um, converter. Extremely simple, pretty straightforward. 
hope you guys liked the video thank you very much for watching and um have a good day bye bye